there are people who think that if they print the JPEG out of the camera, they haven't post-processed it. True, they haven't processed it, but the camera has. And this is something we talked about before. Yeah. Is there's a lot of people say, well, I, don't, I shoot JPEG because I don't do any post-processing. Well, when you shoot JPEG, the camera's making the decision on the processing based on that camera manufacturer yeah. and what they've done, right? When you shoot in JPEG, your camera adds sharpness, it adds contrast, it adds its own white balance. Yeah, it's like the it, develop module inside the camera. Right, there is a computer inside your and, your, and your choice of camera has to do yes. with how that JPEG looks. Canons look a certain way. Uh, there's, a, there, uh, there's a reason why so many portrait photographers like to use Canon because of the way it renders skin tone, right? Mm -hmm. uh, there's a reason why so many landscape photographers like to shoot Nikon because of the way it renders landscape images, right? And these things are put in there by the camera companies. They have a certain look to them, and the look is applied and processed. So the image that you get when you get a JPEG it is processed. This is exactly why JPEG photos look better coming out of the camera than raw photos do. One of the biggest questions and complaints I get from Lightroom users is they'll say this, Scott, yeah. there's something wrong with my Lightroom. Yeah. My photo comes into Lightroom at first and it looks really good. And then it says loading and then it looks really then, bad. Yeah, what's, what's broken? How do I turn that off? Here's what's happening. When you first import your images into Photos in Lightroom, it shows you the JPEG. It's certainly a preview, colorful, yeah. sharp, contrasty. Then it loads the raw. That's why it says loading. So then it loads the raw, and it goes, "That's not what you took. This awful thing is what you took." And now it's flat, and it doesn't it doesn't look as sharp. It doesn't look as colorful or contrasty. And this person thought, or not this person, I bet there's dozens of times. Yeah, this is a typical they, one. They, they think something's wrong with Lightroom and they want to turn it off. And I'm like, why don't you just shoot in JPEG? If you like, if you the, like way the way it looks, it looks yeah, shoot in JPEG. There's but you're absolutely just gonna have, nothing wrong with JPEG. You're just going to have to know that once you shoot in JPEG, that processing is done. You can't go backwards. You can't go back you can't to the raw undo file. what the camera did. Yeah. However... You can, you can change shoot, it. You can shoot raw and JPEG too, and have both. Yeah, and yeah. and you can also take a JPEG image and you can change the white balance and yes. you can change the exposure. So what it is is it's so picture it this way: it's like your camera took the first pass at processing. If you shoot in raw, it does not process at all. Yeah, it's just like here's the say, and here you go. Here you go. Just the flat looking blah image. You add all the stuff. You shoot in JPEG. The camera goes, let me take a crack at it first. Let me sharpen it. Let me add some contrast. Let me choose a white balance for you. How's this look? And then you can either say, it looks pretty good, because it does look way better than the, the raw image generally does. It looks, and by the way, this is, a, this is a gotcha for people. You're shooting in raw. Your camera's set to raw. You look at the image on the back of your camera. Oh, this is another one, yeah. You're looking at a JPEG image. Yeah, a rendering, a JPEG the rendering. J, that's what you're seeing. You're not seeing the raw photo on the back of your camera. You're seeing the JPEG. So you think, wow, look how nice my raw photo looks. And then you load it's it colorful. in, and it's like, whoa. It's sharp. It's contrasty. There's noise reduction. Nope. When you get that camera in the Lightroom, it turns all that stuff off because that's what you chose. You chose to shoot in raw. Here's another one. Ready for this? If you pull up a histogram on the back of your camera, which I strongly recommend not doing, but if you pull up. It's just a waste of time. But if you pull up your uh, histogram on the back of your camera, is it showing the histogram for the raw photo? No. No. Yeah. It's showing you the histogram for the JPEG. You're not even shooting in JPEG. <laughs> the whole thing's a scam. It's a scam, I tell you. It is very true. I mean, that's what we get lost in this stuff. And that's why we want to talk about this issue. It, now, the one thing I do I have to clarify in that whole thing is raw photos are giving that raw data, which gives you more of that latitude, right? So you are going to have, you do have to know when you shoot in JPEG, you're not going to be able to push the file as far. Yeah. So that, you know, that's a, it's already got to push, too. That, it, it, but it's already pushed, exactly. I mean, and that's where, honestly, if, if most of the time, if you're shooting in a setting where it's a beautiful scene, beautiful light, you've got the right exposures, you've got the right settings, and you shoot in JPEG, and only have to do a little bit tweaking later, like, you'll be fine. It's when you get into those settings where there's big dynamic range. Like what Eric did. Yeah, like big like dynamic Eric did, range. Where yeah. you've got like, I couldn't do that. I couldn't. There's no way with the JPEG because if I, if I start pushing it, 
it just falls apart. Yeah, it just falls apart. It just falls and apart. The noise is horrendous, and everything else is bad. You want to start. You want most to start people, with the best quality. Most people could probably be fine shooting in JPEG. I know I that's think a most weird. Most people do shoot yeah, JPEG. Yeah, most now, people would be fine. I'll bet. Well, I'll tell you what. Figure it this way. Every phone photo. Yeah. Look how good your phone photos are. Oh yeah. Well, that's another topic you, right there. You yeah. could turn on raw, but very, very, very few people do. The whole world is shooting in JPEG on their phones, yep. and the shots look amazing. 